Today, we talk about our top five non-Disney animated features. What? All that and more on this episode of My Disney Addiction Podcast. Oh yeah. Not oh yeah, Greg. Don't hurt me. Oh man, the convincing I had to get to Chris for us to do this episode. And and there, and there. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, let, me, <laughs> let me just say y'all. Let me say y'all. I'm okay with it. We're good. We're good. I know. I think we're having <laughs> a lot of fun on this episode. Welcome I'm, back to another episode. I am super pumped. What's up, buddy? Feel like I haven't seen you in a hot minute. I know, and look, we actually, uh, we're wearing the same shirt. What? First time in a while. Once again, shout out to my sister-in-law, Sam. You're the best. These are so schnazzy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, best podcast logo out there. I just, when I did that. I did it. <laughs> it made me think of that Harry Potter scene in <sighs> the, the movie of um, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince when <laughs> Aragog dies. And Harry Potter is kind of high on Felix Felicis. And Hagrid's kind of, they're at this grave with this gigantic spider. Okay. Right? And Hagrid's like, yeah, I don't know. You know, most people don't like these kind of creatures. You know, they're scared by them. I think it's the eyes, I reckon. And then Harry's like, don't forget the pincers. <laughs> it was so awkward in the, in the movie. <laughs> I forgot how much you love Harry Potter. I haven't seen that movie in so long, I forgot about uh, that scene. Harry Potter. Oh. Let me say, excellent. Yeah, um, if Disney did not exist, Chris would be on a Harry Potter podcast. Let's just let's just be honest. Actually, I've uh, to let you. Uh, are, you are you cheating on me? Do you have a Harry Potter podcast that I don't know about? No, I don't actually. But can um, I give him the idea? I should. Am, <laughs> am I the one to blame now? Yeah, Maybe. But like, um, dang it! You just made me lose my train of thought. What was I saying? Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, but what was I about to say about it? Oh no. T- talking about Darn it. you doing a Harry Potter podcast. No, there's something or else. you loving Harry Potter so much if Disney didn't exist. Oh, let me intro. I brought him there. I brought him there. Okay, stop talking. So I'm I don't sorry. <laughs> but uh, get you into a little bit of my weirdness, which you guys already know. But so I'm a big nerd. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Per use. Um, people who know me, they know per use. Chris is a nerd. Um, my wife says that she didn't know about how deep my nerddom went and she feels like she was lied to um, <laughs> before we got married. And I was like, my girl, I was way weird when we were dating. And now she's stuck. Yeah. So here's stuck. the thing, here's the thing. Um, so I play D&D with uh, friends. Um, dodgeball and... Uh... Dodgeball? And dodgeball, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Dodgeball <laughs> squared. The five Ds. <laughs> dip, dodge, dip, dodge, duck, dive, and Dodge. Dodge. Yeah, you can't forget about that. Yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> I'm going to make my wife really mad here. Necessary? Is it necessary for me to drink my own urine? No, but it's sterile, and I like the taste. My wife's going to get mad now, and now she's going to say, Oh, now you owe me one, because whenever somebody says the word necessary, I you... go into that quote. So my wife, she, we were talking about this the other night. Because she's like, I literally had to cut that word out of my vocabulary. <laughs> because, <laughs> because you would jump on that. <laughs> yeah. um, oh. But so I, I, I'm a huge nerd. Um, play D and D, you know, Magic the Gathering, board games, other things too. But um, somebody said like, Chris, you know so much about Harry Potter and the world. You should run your own Harry Potter D and D night. Oh wow! And I was like, oh, I probably should. I have my own. I have a, a, a wand that I got from the. Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Very nice. It's Who's wand, though? The Elder Wand. Dumbledore's Ooh, wand. Cla- classy. Super classy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and you got a beard like him, so... Yeah, works. if you guys haven't noticed, my beard is growing out It's looking little. good. It's full. Yeah. I'm it's gonna, thick. I'm going to grow it out. It's going to be a burly beard. <laughs> Thanks, quarantine. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. And um, so, great. We're talking about things not Disney. What Can is you going imagine? on? Why? Is there anything else in the world but Disney? You know, for the longest time, I didn't think possible. Oh, but here we is. Here we is. That's right. Proper so, grammar. So what are we talking about? Per se. <laughs> what did you say? Percy? Per se. Per se. Per se. Let's try to sound all Frenchy. Per use. Per se. 
perchance. Uh, oh, so in, in French is actually par hasard, but you that say sounds par hasard. That sounds more Arabic. Par hasard? You're right, a little bit, but it's French, okay. or like by chance. Um, um, yeah, so what are we talking about today, Greg? What, what's, what's on the agenda? Our top five animated features not released by Disney, though. So we're doing a little oh, bit of a spin on our top five list. Snap, crackle, and pizzop, as they say. That's right. I'm just kidding. Nobody, nobody says that. Only Except Chris does. Because I'm cool. But you make it you make it cool. If I said that, it, it would just fall flat. Yeah, but I say... For, it's just the way that you have it. It's, it's just your intonation. It's your timbre on your voice. Timbre? Timbre. T-I-M-B-R-E. Timbre. It, that, that's also French. That's a great fact. Mm. Oh, we're bringing that back, so it's a lie. Yep, exactly. So I don't even know if it's French. It probably is because it has that fancy R-E at the end. But anyway, yeah, it's about your voice and how mm. you how you say things. That how sounds, you sell it. Sounds legit. All right. So yes. we're going to be doing a top five non-Disney animation movies. Now, these can be total, like, just regular animation, digital animation, but anything that is not released by Disney. Yes. So we're going to do... Um, Number five to number one. Exactly. Um, we gotta end on a bang. Yeah, obviously our number one is our favorite non-Disney animation movie. So this is gonna be different. And just my favorite animated movie in general. Okay, like but see, I like, but before. people, some people know what that is. So now you're giving away the at the end. Darn you. Or like, is that is that a red herring and it's actually not? It's I'm really not because because that's not the kind of person you are. Yeah, you're right. So I'm not that clever. All right. So why don't we? Start off with you doing the number uh, five. Your number five. Okay. Um, Non-Disney animation movie. All right. So this one is a little bit of a guilty pleasure, but I had to put it on my list. Ooh, uh, okay? Guilty pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So guilty. I'm going to give you a hint here. It's a very popular song from this. Okay. It's a very popular Rules song. The world. Okay. Ready? I want to be the baby. Oh, gosh. Like no one ever was. Pokemon! That's right, Pokemon, the first movie. Is that the one when they met Mewtwo and Mew? Yes. Okay. Exactly, with ancient Mew and then making a clone of Mew. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, for me, huge nostalgic value. And I mean, now the world is swept up in Pokemon. I don't know if, you, if you've heard of that, but Pokemon just like. How, old, how much younger are you than me? Only, what, five or six years? One. Well, Gonna be 33 in May, and you're I'm gonna be 20, 27 28, in May. 28. 28 May, so not that much younger. No. But Pokemon was big when I was in sixth or seventh grade, so that would okay. put you at about what? First grade, kindergarten. First and second grade, yeah. Yeah, so that probably wasn't as big for you. Um, but I remember when I was in like sixth or seventh grade, the Poke like Pokemon just was Pokemania. Like, they was going it. crazy in America. And Didn't so, they ban like? Cards from school. Yes, just because it would get so yeah, intense. Yeah, because we yeah, and I remember having collections, and I had some Charizards, and then they came out with like the Dark series, and so I had yeah, a dark Team Hol Rocket. Yeah, I had a holographic Charizard that was a dark version. That was really cool. Uh, Hold that thought. Is that it? Is that, is that the ch dark Charizard? Holy cow! I think this might have been it. Right? Look at that. Not this exact card, people, but I think I. I think it was this one. Okay. Or it might have been a, a slightly different. Okay. When did this one come out? That one was, it came out like in 2000. So this might have been it. Yeah, that's the Team Rocket Dang. set, right? That's cool. I Legit. know. Legit. I know, I love it. So, but yeah, Pokemania, that was my thing. Did you do the Pokemon Go? Were you obsessed with the You know, I did not. Everybody thought I would because I love Pokemon. It just, it didn't really... Uh... Didn't tickle your fancy. Exactly. Didn't tickle my fancy one bit. Yeah, so, I mean, I played the game when I was a kid. Had, you know, the Game Boy games oh, and all that you jazz. had to. That's, I mean, I still... Dude, the Pokemon Game Boy game was one of the things I played in the car when we were driving, you know, with my parents. and go. But now, I, I remember I had the original Pokemon. Not the original Pokemon, but the original Game Boy. The big old gray one. Oh, okay, the classic. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That's legit. So... I never had that. I, the first one I got was actually a Game Boy Advance. It was okay. the glacier color, so you could see the innards and like the oh, inner workings. I think my sister. Or, that was no, awesome. maybe I had one. I can't remember. That was awesome. Um, we went through a lot of Game Boys. Yes, uh, yes. My parents still have the Game Boy, but apparently there were batteries left in there, so the acid eroded oh, the wiring. But I'm trying to see fun. if there's a way to fix it. Yeah. I can't remember what happened. I don't know if they still have it or not. It's legit. But it's really cool. Um, okay, so number five. Number five Pokemon. Well, just a quick rundown of the movie. Oh. 
There it goes. Is, the this washer. The, is this the one that? I think that is. The washer just popped right Why off. Why do you keep giving me the crap chair? I don't know. I, it, it's the a, screw it, and it, both the washer. It's like ball. Russian roulette. I'm trying to kill Chris here. Jeez. Karma. Karma for him wanting to kill Allison all this time. It's coming back to you. I know. I think the chair is trying to say, get off and do it. Maybe. Oh, no. No, <laughs> never, never mind. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, quick rundown of Pokemon the first movie. Ash and his friends. Make this real quick because we've got to get a lot You're done. right, yeah. So um, so basically, they cre the scientists create Mewtwo. Mewtwo hates humanity. He wants Pokemon to rule. So he creates clones of some Pokemon and he p makes himself as this big trainer and he um, initiates like this big uh, sort of uh, you want test. To, I would say you want to make this real fast. <laughs> Pokemon, Ash, a lot of battles, and there's a lot of explosions. Boom, there, there you, go. you go. Boom, there you go. And great music, so there you go. Yeah. All right. What's your number five? Okay, I'm a struggling. I'm a struggling here. Is that, can we do an honorable mention before we do our second oh, number Oh, yeah, of course. Of okay. course, okay. we have to. Okay. Now, if I had to say, because I got my number one, number two, number three, number four, uh, okay, number five. Darn, darn, darn. What's darn. your pinky choice? See, I'm, I'm, I have an idea of what my number five is, but there was something else that I was gonna put at number five and I forgot what it was. Oh, darn. Well, maybe you'll think about that for honorable mention. Okay, so my number five, I'm gonna say for now, because I have, see, yeah, that one, that one, that one. Okay, so number five, I'm going to say the Prince of Egypt. All right. Um, I That's thought the animation one. was amazing. It and blows it, my mind. The, the music was amazing in it. It's just, it's an all around great movie. Um, I've, like people heard the story of Moses, you know, the parting of the Red Seas, the 10 plagues. Um, I mean, obviously it was not historically accurate in a lot of different ways. Uh, Moses was not in his 40s when he went to Egypt. He was more like in his 80s when he went back <laughs> to Egypt. So um, yeah, but it's a great movie. I love it. Um, the music in there, it's a toss up between um, Through Heaven's Eyes or the Ten Plague song. I like Through Heaven's Eyes a little bit more, in yeah. my opinion. I mean, it's been a while, but that one, I think, just yeah, was I thought it the was, most I thought it was really good. And talk about the voice acting there. You have Val Kilmer. Yep. You got, is it Ralph Fiennes or Ra Ralph the other Fiennes. guy? Yeah, the other brother. Ralph, Ralph Fiennes, Fiennes was um, um, oh. uh, Ramesses. Yes, yeah, you're right. Yep. And then you have Sandra Bullock. You mm -hmm. have Jeff Goldblum. Goldblum, bro. <sighs> Gold Just great. Blue. Yeah, the animation was so fluid. It was, it was like, so, there was just something about like the 90s animation and yes. the early 2000s animation was just. Well, because they had to like up their game because Disney was just destroying it and mm -hmm. DreamWorks came and they conquered with Prince of it was, Egypt. It was really good. Yeah. All right, so Greg, you're number four. Nice. All right, number four. Remember this. Oh yes. Okay. This one again is a little bit of a guilty pleasure, but it is a fun time had by all. Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas. Mm. Yep. So that one um, is again. I think it flew under the radar. Uh, I forget who it was by. It could have been by DreamWorks still. But you had Brad Pitt as Sinbad. You had Catherine Zeta-Jones as the leading lady. Um, it's a lot. It's just adventurous because basically. Sinbad's friend was framed for murder, yep. and he's like this pirate who's aloof, but he decides to help his friend to clear his name. He goes on this amazing journey. It has a bunch of comedy, it has action, it has monsters, it has a, a lot of like Greek and Roman mythology, like yep. Tartarus, and they have the Kraken. Mm -hmm. It's just a ton of things that like I gobbled up because I'm a huge fan of mythology in general. So mm -hmm. great movie, and they did a really good job at doing like the hand-drawn animation with like the beginnings of digital animation. They did a really good job at combining. It was two. very good. Yeah. Awesome. There so you go. My number four. All right. This is gonna be tough because now I want to <laughs> switch the places. So I'm gonna, Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch places here because I think more people are gonna be happy if I put the one that should have that, that I had in four in three. Interesting. Okay. So I'm gonna put three back to four. Woo. Now. Okay. So Get number for four. Some contention. Number four for me is gonna be Titan A E. <sighs> See, I was struggling to put that in my top five, but it's definitely in my honorable mention. That is such a good movie. Titan A E was so. Dude, you're, another screw fell out? Your chair is just falling apart. I have to do some maintenance on this. Dear goodness, <laughs> dude. I'm going to just fall over during the episode. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Why is this happening? Anyway, Titan AE. Titan AE. Keep it going. Essentially, 
long time into the future. Yeah. Um, humans are kind of in space with aliens and stuff like that, and the main character's dad creates a machine that can create a new planet for human beings. Yeah. And the whole purpose of it, the movie is like, this kid is trying to find the ship, uh, this machine that creates um, this new planet before the bad guys do, essentially. The aliens, the evil aliens yep. that look like like they, they were like bottled blue, up like lightning. Yeah, like blue energy. Yeah, it was, it was really, very. It was the really music good. for that movie was oh, so awesome. It was so like punk rocky. Yeah, but you it know, was like, like but, it, but it was that early two thousands like yes, punk rock. Yes. Yeah, it was so. It's good. It's like you, the world's against me. I hate everything, but I'm. But it's not emo. It on. was definitely no, rock. You're right. Definitely you're, rock. Yeah, rock infused. Yeah, it was. If you guys it was great. see the movie. It was cool because it was definitely at that stage where animation was heavily getting involved into digital animation. Yes. So um, not like like the Disney movies that were, you know, throwing some dis digital animation. This was like animation plus digital animation combined together. Yeah. I just remember that scene. Yeah, I feel like it was almost like um, what Disney did with Mary Poppins. Oh sure, yeah, with live action and yeah, and it was and like drawing. literally like combined. Like, yeah, it was animation. But combined yeah. with digital. Yeah, but this is like the next step forward. Yeah, it was, okay. I thought it was really cool. I just remember that one scene where you see the uh, the like the grown up version of the main character. I forget his name, but he's working out in like this space colony yeah. in like his space suit, and like that was all digital. Yeah, and it was it blew it was, my mind. It, was like, it looked so real. Like I could, I could feel the texture of like the stainless steel. It was so cool. It was great. All right, go ahead. You're number three. Number three for me. I'm taking a little uh, sojourn into the DC animated universe. Wow. Pulling up Batman Sub Zero. What? Sub Zero. Over the other one? Over Mask of the Phantasm. I yes. think Mask of the Phantasm is better, people. No, okay. So Sub Zero, I think I liked it more. Again, it, it's steeped in nostalgia because I would put that on all the time. I felt like. Mask of the Phantasm was too slow and too adult for me as a kid, like six years old, where you had more of the adventure of Batman and Robin in Sub-Zero. But when I watched it again, it's a pretty like dark topic. So basically Mr. Freeze, he's the main villain, okay? He kidnaps Barbara Gordon yeah. for an organ transplant to save his wife. Yeah. So like he's prepping her for like surgery so you could take like a kidney or a liver or whatever and Batman and Robin have to go to an oil rig to like that's so cool. Yeah, I so I, cool. I think I think the other one is better personally. So but that's because I was that movie probably came out when you were younger. It was 93 when, when 93 it came out. so I would have been 5 or 6. And I was basically 0. Yeah. <laughs> well, either you are or you're not. Yeah. So I'm I'm I was closer to 1, but still I was like maybe Probably Six like ten, eight if or ten that, months. Yeah. yeah, honestly. Yeah, so I thought that was an amazing movie. Still, I loved still it. it was dark, dark though. I will admit, it was a dark. It movie. was very. I mean, you get the backstory of the Joker there. I mean, yeah. Mark Hamill at his finest. Dude, I think Mark Hamill in that movie was legit, especially when he was going crazy when Batman was beating him up. Yeah, and he was bleeding. He didn't yeah, care. I'm he like, did not care. I'm like, dude, this is nuts. Like, I'm getting chills just thinking about that scene. Like, it was so emotionally. It was intense. Like, it was charged. It was good. It was I great. It. Was great. So, Sorry. Yeah. So, so Sub Zero, okay. number three okay. spot. We'll, we'll beg to differ. We'll beg to differ. <laughs> All right, man. All right, number tres. Bronze medal goes to Iron Giant. Really? There's two more that you like more than that one? Yes. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that one to be number three. Wow. Iron Giant. Come on, Vin I love Diesel. It. <laughs> as the freaking giant. That's right. What is it with Vin Diesel getting cast as characters that don't like say anything? And just they just make have noise. like <laughs> one line. Be good. Right. That's you st I. Come yeah. On. But he makes it so like emotional. Like you're there for it. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, you're right. Iron Giant is such a great Dude, movie. It was just so. Like it was so much fun. There was funniness. There was serious. And it just. Uh, it, it, it so, was so I don't I don't know what to say about it. It just right. I thought it was so good. Like even to this day, I can the, the scene that like there are some scenes in movies that make me like I want to eat that. Oh, yes, I think I know what you're talking about. It's when they're in the custard yes, shop. Yes, the custard with the with the yes with the whipped cream, yeah. with the whipped cream oh and like oh my gosh. I was or like, even when um, Hogarth was watching the TV yeah. and like he put shh and he would just eat it off yeah. with his hand like. like 
Yeah, it was just so good. I loved that scene. I For some reason, it was so appetizing, but I'm gonna roll in my number two choice because that was Iron Giant. So that was? Yeah, so we're just talking. Really? Yeah. yeah, so number two is Iron Giant for me. Iron, but I have, actually have an Iron Giant t-shirt. You do, you do. I think you wore it a couple times to work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so, I, I was pretty jealous about that. I, like, I um, like the Iron Giant. It is such a great movie. It is. I mean, so do you know it, it was actually supposed to be like a musical? Um, I did not know from that. Pete Townsend, the guy really? from The Who. Yeah, I like, did not know that. He, he pushed hard to get like an Iron Giant musical made, but then Warner Brothers Animation picked it up. Brad Bird directed it, who also yep, directed Bird. The Incredibles. So you know that it's going to be good. You I, know that it's going to be. I'm glad they time. didn't go with the musical thing on it. Me too. No, I I think it's much better. It's more of just like an animated, like feature. an actual story story. Yeah. I liked it. But they did sort of bring it or keep the musical like aspect to it because Harry Connick Jr was the junkyard The guy. junkyard dude, yeah. Steve-O or... Uh, Dean. Dean. Dean! Dean! Dean, that's his name, yes. He was such a cool, Dude, he was like, a slick guy. Dude, man. he was a greaser. Yeah, you could tell, like, in the 50s, he was that, like, yeah, that's it. That's right, and then, like, he's rolling his cigarettes up, yeah. up in his shirt dude. sleeve. Yeah. I like it when he's yelling at the giant. He's like, he's like, you know, you can, he's like, the giant's <laughs> eating the trash. He's like, yes. you know, he's like, this is scrap. What you currently have in your mouth is art! It's art, that's right, he's an artist. <laughs> yeah. So oh, good. that was so. <laughs> um, yeah, my yeah. That's all I can say. I mean, you got it. If you haven't seen the movie, <laughs> go see Iron Giant. I, w I was enjoying it so much. I swallowed my own spit. Ugh. Yeah, that's when you know that Ugh. it's it's a good time. So forgive his, me. His voice. Just <laughs> I know. It's like it's it's gruff. It's like Phoebe when she was sick in Friends, like oh, when yeah. she was singing a Smelly Cat or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Ooh, okay, anyway, number two for you. I'm slowly getting better. Don't oh, worry. I'm doing number two. Yeah, because I already did number two, right? Was oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so my number two is a newer movie. I'm gonna have to go with Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Ah, that's okay, okay. I think what they did with that movie was just amazing. The characters were all relatable. It was funny. The music behind it was awesome. It was just, yeah, I felt like it was the total... I mean, I, there's a reason why it won Best Animated Film when it came, that year it came out. It's It was very avant-garde, like, the animation style. It was basically yes. like you were looking into, like, a comic book yes. where you had, like, the colors, like, slightly off right. Well, that's why they, they, they literally made it so that way. If you ever paused anywhere in the movie, it looks like a comic book. Yeah, that's li like, that is so creative. It's so cool. They blew the socks well, off. Well, and not to mention the fact, freaking Nick Miller is one of the Spider-Men. I know, yeah. It was, uh, and it was then like Nick Peter Cage. Parker. Yeah. Nick Cage, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then John Mulaney yep. as Porky uh, 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 Parker, Porky I don't forget what Spider it Pig, whatever. I think, yeah. yeah, but anyway, yeah, again, it a was huge so voice good. talent. It was such a good movie, and like, like I said, the music was good. Like, it, it's one that I watch, and me and my wife like. I can turn it on, and people like it. Like, yeah. it's it's something that I could watch with. I've watched with Maddie. Um, okay. So it's like you can watch. You know, parents will like it. Kids will like it. I. I think it's just a great movie all around. I just love that movie. Yeah, I mean, I own it. Yeah, Steelbook. So After like we saw that movie, there. I ended up buying it on, um, what is that stupid? Was it Voodoo? Voodoo? Yeah, I bought Voodoo's it on good. Voodoo. Yeah. So I bought the 4K version of it. Very nice. Yeah, oh, and for that, I'm sure it makes like the it's colors great. even more rich. So It's great. It's great, man. It's the all best. Right. Before we get to number one, let's, let's, let's uh, start oh, rattling off some honorable mentions. Here. Honorable mentions. Yes. Per huge, honorable per, man. Per huge. That's right, what up? Okay, so let's see here. Um, one of my, I'm so afraid to lean back on this chair. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it on your toes, man. <laughs> um, one of my favorite um, movies as a kid would be Ants. Now, okay. Ants came out right before Bugs Life. Okay. And it was not exactly the same, um, yeah, I've never seen it. Like, but, what's like the, the quick premise there? Oh man, it's been so long. Um, it's it, it had a I remember just it, watching like trailers. It, has like, it a, had an interesting like it has a it had a Bugs Life ish theme to it. Sure. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was just I I, I prefer that movie um, over Bugs Life. Actually, I actually think it was that good. I'm gonna have to watch it now. Answers Coming acclaimed by Chris. Yeah, it's it's good. My okay. goodness. What's another um, one? For me, I... I'm hoping for you to say something that I totally forgot about. For me, I'm going to have to go again with, an, like, 
dipping into the superhero, have you ever seen Batman Beyond Return of the Joker? Yes. So that one was just phenomenal, where they, you know, it's in the future, you got Terry McGinnis as Batman, old Bruce Wayne, yep. and then all of a sudden, like the Mark Hamill Joker comes in, he's like, wait a minute, I thought this one, Wasn't this Joker was dead. Yeah. Like, and then it's cool because they did a flashback on how he died. Yeah. But then it's this huge twist at the end on like who actually is the Joker. Like, yeah, it's really phenomenal. Good. I mean, I love Bruce Tim and his animation style. It's very modern, minimalistic. Yeah. Um, again, voice acting on par. You've got to give credit to Andrea Romano, who is the voice, the voice caster. Yeah. So. I another movie I have to throw out there um, when I when it came out because I went and saw it in theaters because when I was a kid I wanted to see it. Okay. Um, was Rugrats the original Rugrats? Movie. Rugrats. Okay. When uh, what's his name? What's the baby's name? I'm no help to you on this. I haven't uh, seen it. Is it? Oh my gosh, I can't remember the baby's name. Dill. Dill. What a name. I think Dill. Dill Pickle. I think it's short for like Dylan or something. Oh, that makes Dill? sense. Dill. Is it Dill? I don't know. It's gonna bug me now. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, hold on. Chucky. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to go through all the characters in the, in the show. I think it's Dill. Dill. It's a Dill. Let me check. You have to do some of that splicing editing so it looks good. Yeah, right. Funny. Don't worry, I will. Um, so for me, as Chris is looking it up, I also liked Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Now that's a, it's a direct to video release. It's not like a theatrical release, but it was going off of the success of Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story, and it was basically his own world. You know, you got Star Command, you got the characters in that universe. Uh, it's a very, very good. Uh, well-rounded this quick little fun animated feature uh, with Buzz Lightyear of course Tim Allen still yeah voiced him. Dill Pickles Dill, okay <laughs> Dill Pickles there you go yeah <laughs> but, yeah but anyway uh, just to, to finish up my thing uh, Tim Allen still voices uh, Buzz Lightyear in that Buzz Lightyear of Star Command video okay. um, Zerg you had a really cool like James Bond golden eye twist to it with his best friend at Star Command um, so that's definitely mine. But anyway, just quickly going back to Rugrats. So that yeah. that's one of yours. All right. That's, well, that would be one of mine that I remember watching as a kid, and I really, really <laughs> liked. <laughs> I liked. Ah, it. Nice. Oh, it brings me back to being a kid. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get to our number one. Woo! All right. All right. The moment has arrived. Should we say it in sync? In sync. In sync. Mm -hmm. But try. I want to be Justin Timberlake. Huh? Yeah, you probably you have the better jawline and the nice hair. I'll be there. Bye, bye, bye. I'm not going to do that again. All right. <laughs> so our number one non-Disney animated movie is El Dorado. The Road to El Dorado. The Road to El Dorado. The Road to El Dorado. El Dorado. I mean, I cannot say enough about this movie. Oh, man. The animation was good. At, the voice acting Sir was Elton great. John. Uh, was he comes there. back I was after the line. I got, I'm sorry. I couldn't hold it in. Dude, Sir Elton John. Elton John. Yeah, and Hans Zimmer. He, Hans Zimmer did the, the that, score. Zimmer, and once again, when Hans Zimmer and Elton John team up, man, it's, it's, it's a match made in heaven. I'm literally saying. music. <laughs> it's literally music to my ears. Really? Go figure. <laughs> yeah, but honestly. Guys, no. in case you didn't know, they make music. They make good music. <laughs> in case you didn't know. Yeah, just. Just to put that out there. Yeah, um, I think the movie was great. I mean, it was funny, it was witty, I think. Classic adventure. It's interesting because I feel like a movie like that would probably be somewhat lost-ish lost on my kids nowadays. Sure. You know, because I feel like there are things in that animation style from that time period that probably wouldn't really fly as well today. Like, sure. there was definitely some adult moments in there where yeah, it's like, when they were like in the hot tub and then the monkey stole their clothes and they had to run and chase yeah. them down. You saw like the uh, the naked buttocks. Yeah. Well, I was also talking about that. Chell, Chell Dorado. Yeah. When what is it, Miguel and Tulio? Tulio. Well, Tulio is with Chell. <laughs> yeah. That's. Oh, you're right. When they're alone in the yeah. in the temple. Yeah. And then somebody knocks on the. <laughs> and they they both sit up and they're just like, like what what Whoa. yeah. <laughs> But there are so many quotable lines mm -hmm. in that movie. Like when uh, they were going to Tushibaba, like the human sacrifice. Yeah. Like, uh, Miguel, you tell him. Uh, that's right. Uh, the stars are not in position. That's oh, right. Oh, man. Stars, can't do it. Not, not today. today. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Maybe I've misread this story. 
<laughs> there are quotable lines in the movie. The music is great. I have a soundtrack. What's your favorite song from El Dorado? And I need to mention this, a lot of people, I mean like too many people, mistake Road to El Dorado for a Disney movie. I don't know like, why. Yeah, I think it's because it's like a legit musical and Disney was known for that. Yeah. So you had really good songs, again, Elton John, maybe yeah. they were thinking of Lion King because he also did that. Um, I don't know, it was just, again, maybe it was such a good movie they just associated, oh, it must be Disney. Yeah, it was definitely a good movie. I wouldn't say it was, um, I don't know how you can mistake. I mean, I guess. I mean, for people who don't really know, I mean, I wouldn't mistake it for a Disney movie. I just know a lot of my friends do. I'm like, mm, sorry, it's actually DreamWorks. Yeah. So I'm like, mm, Greg, the Disney freak. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy, because well, I cared that much. Like that's right. Yeah, I don't know. I would. F my favorite song. Yeah. I think it's the main one, the, the Royal El Dorado. Oh, I mean, yeah, you got the, like the trumpets, like. Doo -doo 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 yeah. Doo -doo 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 it's great, yeah. I mean, uh, it just sets the stage. Well, I'm trying to think of the other one. I when love Trail That We Blaze. The Trail That We Blaze, but then there was the one when... It's Tough to Be a God. Oh, that one's really good, too. Friends Never Say Goodbye. That one where, like, it, it's like a somber no, one. No, no, the, like one when, on. the one when, what's his name? Miguel is walking through, and he's just And he's taking, having a good time. Yeah, he's just taking Without in. question. Yes. That one's such a good one. <sighs> yeah, so Without Question's good, though it is too short. Like, in the movie, it's like... It's very minutes, short. But... The soundtrack version is like almost five minutes long, really? but it's more of a ballad. And Elton John, like he go, like you could tell, like there's some passion behind it. So um, I do like the movie version just because it's more upbeat. Yeah, yeah. But there is a different style of uh, the one found in the soundtrack. Yeah, I yeah, but I would have to go with the main theme, the Roald Dahl Dorado. Yeah, it's the best song. All right, dude. Yeah. There, there it this is. This is it. This is all, not all, but this is our top five. Plus some honorable mentions thrown in there. Non-Disney animated movies. Let us know some of your favorites and if we happen to agree. Or if we miss some that you think deserve to be on the list. Please. Put them in the comments below. And we'll watch them. And once again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It takes a couple seconds. That really helps out the channel. That's right. Hit that notification button to, so you can be aware of all of our posts. Oh, yes. Other thing, guys. This is that, like, spoiler little, like, teaser. Kind of like the Marvel thing did at the end. Oh, my goodness. Oh, before my goodness. We log What's off happening? Here, before we log What's off What's happening? I've been talking to Greg. Okay. Now, his girlfriend, Allison, you know, God rest her soul, because once we kill her. This is just going to be an ongoing joke. Like I know. 30 for, years down the road. For the entirety like, of our lives. I am, I'm so going to kill her. Um, but kill her with kindness. Uh, Chris is such a softy. No, I'm not. Nobody has ever said that about me. I was being sarcastic. Oh. Um, <laughs> but, you know. Me, we were talking. Uh, talking about double dating him and Allison, me and my wife Stephanie. I just got in contact with a local uh, butcher shop. And they sell Wagyu beef. Mm. And I know you guys have heard me talk about it. And I was trying. And you've heard and you've seen me drool over it whenever he talks. Yeah. So I've been thinking about talking to him and being like, hey, why don't we uh, make Wagyu beef and have a whole di uh, podcast episode of doing, like, having a fun cooking episode, blah, 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 blah. Yum, and yum, then, yum. then just get all four of us eating the Wagyu beef, getting the reactions, and just salivating. <laughs> That would, that's gonna happen. Just thinking about I mean, it, it's just making me like my mouth water. Yeah, I know, me too. Like I have to like keep on swallowing. <laughs> it's gonna be great. But once again, like, comment, subscribe. Yes. It was a pleasure talking about our top five non-Disney animated movies. Yeah, I, had a, I had a ton of fun. It was fun, it was a good time. And don't forget that this is your number one place to get your Disney fix. Peace. That was awesome. And what is up with your chair? Dude, I have no...